In the last video, I showed you how to make a quiz game which has 6 questions and something which calculates the points at the end. And in this video, I will be showing you how to add the number of correct answers, wrong answers, total questions, past questions, points and percentages. So go to view and click on slide master so that we can edit this slide. So we can delete this. Now go to your developer tab and click on this button and draw the label on your slide. Now click on properties and change its name to CA which represents correct answer. You can change the font and size by clicking here. I'll make this a tad bit bigger. Now in the caption change it to zero. You can also align it. I'll add a shape over here to represent what it is. This is the number of select answers. Now select the label and the shape by pressing Ctrl and copy paste it by Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Now change it to number of long answers. Click on this label and change its name to long answers which will be WA. Now copy these once more and this time change it to number of past questions. Click on your label and change the name to PQ which refers to past questions. Now copy these once more and this will represent total questions and change its name to TQ. Now we need to add points and percentages so copy these once more. Now this will represent points. You can select it by pressing Ctrl A. I'll make it bold and I'll increase the size by pressing the following shortcut. And now you can change the label to points. Now copy this for the last time and type on it person and in the label you can change the name to person tages now we have completed making the slide master so you can close the master view we can also add a late line button for our quiz game so we copy your exit button and paste it here. We have a label which represents number of past questions. So let us add a past question button. So I'll insert one action button and place it over here and click OK. Let me type here pass. Now copy this by pressing Ctrl C and paste it in all the question slides. Now, in between your last question slide and your scorecard, insert a new slide. Change the layout to blank and add a shape. This shape should say, click here to view results. This button will help us calculate the percentages when clicked on it. So go to developer and click on view code. Now it is time to write our codes. If the question is answered correctly, we need to increase the caption of correct answers by 1. So we type ca.caption equals ca.caption plus 1. Similarly, we need to do the same if the question is answered incorrectly. But in this case, we have to do it for WA caption, which is number of long answers. In the case of reset, we need to make the caption of all the labels zero. So first we have CA.caption equals zero. We can copy paste this to reduce time. So I have made the caption of all the labels which we have zero when the reset button is clicked. We also have a lead line button. So let us write a code for that. We have to do the exact same thing as reset. 
So we can copy this. There is just one minor change. Instead of exiting the slideshow, it has to go to slide number 1. Next, we need to make a code for calculating the results. So type sub calculate results. First, we need to determine the number of questions of our quiz game. So tq.caption equal, let us check. I have 6 questions over here as you can see. So tq.caption will be 6. Now we need to find the number of past questions. So pq.caption will be the number of total questions minus the number of correct answers minus the number of long answers. So let us just type that. So basically if the question is not answered correctly nor incorrectly, it will be considered as a past question and it will increase the caption of PQ. Next we need to calculate the percentage. So, so percentages for caption will equal the number of correct answer multiplied by 100 divided by total questions. That is the formula for calculating the percentages. Also, when we click on the shape which has this macro, it should go to the next line. So we can just copy this and paste it here. Now our coding is over. We have to add these codes to the shapes in the PowerPoint slides. So let us close this. Now click on this shape, go to insert, action and run the macro calculate results. In your reply button, click on it, go to action and run macro reply. Alright, now that we have completed writing our code and put in the VBA macro in the shapes, it is time to test our quiz game. So go to slideshow and click on from beginning. So I will be answering two questions correctly. I will be passing two questions. And now I will answer two questions incorrectly. So let us click here to view our results. So as you can see, we got two questions correct, two long, two passed and it has calculated the total questions correctly. The points and percentages are also shown. We can click on the lead line button if we want to take the quiz again or we can click on exit to exit the slideshow. Also remember while you are saving the quiz game, you must save it as a PowerPoint macro enabled presentation. You can also save it as a PowerPoint macro enabled show. This will allow you to open the quiz game directly in slideshow mode. Else, you can just save it as PowerPoint macro enabled presentation. In the next video, I will be showing you all how to add a certificate and then print in the certificate in a .pdf file. If you have any doubts, please comment below. I will be replying to all the comments. I also make custom PowerPoint templates and games. You can send me an email if you are interested. You can download this PowerPoint quiz game from the description down below. I also have a website in which I upload various PowerPoint templates. I also have a PowerPoint tutorial website. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, bell, you know what to do. And I'll see you in the next video once you click on it. Peace.